this is Julin and Catherine. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to my home here in Santa Monica. Welcome to our second video of the day. If you guys watched yesterday's video, we did a come with me in Ventura. It took us an hour and a half to get there one way and an hour and a half to get back the other way. So we traveled over like around 120 miles round trip. It's a lot and, of miles. And got to see some burned areas yeah <laughs> it was uh, an interesting friday afternoon but i really wanted when catherine was like we need to get out of the city i was like okay let's just go back to ventura i've been to ventura once for the channel two months ago with my grandma and i went to this really fun nursery and i got a cool crested aeodium there and i was like that's a place i think catherine would really appreciate so we went and how was it it was great Okay, so we were there for an hour, but it went like this. So many aeoniums we there. We could have actually stayed there longer. We could have. Like an, an yeah. extra hour, easy, yeah. for sure. Yeah, that's one you have to delve into. So I think we, I think we may be seeing 75% of the plants. Like yes. really looking at everything. Yes. yes. Okay, talk about the first plant that you got and give this video a big thumbs okay. up for having Catherine back into the space and we have another collective plant haul video mm -hmm. on the channel. I had not seen this. So, um, and I only got my copper spoon really not that Too long, long ago. ago. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one is, this color is amazing. This one's a silver teaspoon. Very cute. Um, and the color just really spoke to me. So I yeah, it's I that like muted one. color. I love yeah. it a lot. Yeah, and I guess you want to be careful when you're touching the leaves so it doesn't leave imprints. No, it looks like it would, doesn't it? Like, yeah. like gr if my skin is greasy, it might. Yeah, I I, I got the feeling that that would happen too. Okay. Wow. Well, right. Oh, also stay tuned because next week we're planning on going over to Catherine's house for her fall plant tour. So yes. I'm looking forward to seeing all these plants styled. I have to clean up a lot. Very interesting, crazy and wild watch chain, and this is probably the most hardiest watch chain I've ever seen in my entire plant life. The shape is amazing. Um, it's so full. And it's yes, it's very interesting. And of course, these mom and pop nurseries, I have a stowaway here. So I have a little sedum here. Oh, you said it's jelly, like jelly beans. Sedum, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is the current vibe of the plant. I, I mean, I've never seen a watch chain like this before. Mm -hmm. So I'm really excited to add this to the Crestilla family. And oh yeah, you also got an interesting Cressula too. Cool jade. Very cool. It's really cool. Funky shape. What made you attracted it's to the plant? beautiful. Just the oh, shape of a it. Baby. Oh, you got a little baby sedum hey, down there too. Hey, I got some sedum too. <laughs> you can't see it. It's, you, you won't be able to see it. It's in there. Very tiny. Yeah, just the shape of it. It's the prettiest, waviest shape. I love it. Yeah, I yeah. love it a lot. Very really cool neat. crystal. Really so we get another rip salis that Catherine and I got um, during the summer plant show. Mm. And we got matching rip salises. And I love mine. I love what I have already. But... This is considered kind of a rare rip salis. This is the only second time I've ever seen this rip salis. So I was like, you know what? I, I love rip salises and I guess I'll have a fuller planter. And I see some little jelly beans yep. here. I so. love the shape of this one though. It'll be interesting it's to really see pretty. if they match together with my original one that we got from the plant show. If not, that's fine. I'll keep it separate. But there's looks like two sections two. here. Yeah, I think there's two So in there. yeah, I love the plant a lot. And, and I like this new leaf. Yeah. I like that new baby. <laughs> I collect rip salises, so it'll be interesting. If they don't look like they can blend together in one pot, then I'll just leave them separate. But this is my rip salis of the day. I had this guy before. Okay. I love it. It's like a um, a little mistletoe, a little um, clumpy, clumpy mistletoe. I think I got mine when we went to Pasadena Rose Bowl Flea Ooh, Market. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Which is doing really good. Yeah, I, I really like this. It's a pretty guy. They look like... um. They're very sedum looking, yeah. these, these ones. So yeah. at the plant show that we were at with Carrie. Mm -hmm. um, you got one. I got one of these guys, yeah. No, in Northridge. I did. Northridge. did I get it in Northridge? Yes. Yeah, I thought I got it at the plant show. Yeah, and you got from the plant show too. Okay, you all got right. You two. All right, yeah. well, you know. You got keep the frosted. The same, you got keep, the frosted one. Keep buying the same stuff from I Northridge. <laughs> I don't know how. I anyway, this Calancho is really cool. A lot of new growth there on the top too. It's and cool. it looks like I don't know if you can tell the shape looks like um, antlers. So I think this is elk antlers. It is. Um, like a hybrid. But I just love. Yeah, I love the shape of the. Of Very the cool. Yeah. What's your plans for that one? I don't know. 
On its own, probably. Okay. I was gonna say, are yeah. you gonna throw it in the basket? Yeah, I think just on its own, maybe. Okay. Which one is your coolest one of the day? The one that you're saying? That might last? be the coolest one. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, mine's too. So this is my coolest find of the day, and it's a really interesting aeonium. I'm gonna give it a spin because I think all sides of this aeonium is super cool, and you can see the thickness and probably like the age of the trunk here. It's probably a very old aeonium, but very interesting, right? I seen this at the very last second and there was like no doubt in my mind. I was like, I need this. I, it just looked very sad and I cleaned it up and then once I cleaned it up, I was like, okay, I think I'm gonna take you home. Just the shape of it, the way how it's growing. I love how there's like one thick stem here and then it branches off. And then I also like the rippling effect of the leaves and then how it's like, ombre with maroon tinges at the end. It's almost like painted on. I've never seen the variegation like this before on any Aeonium. And the way how it's growing, I was like, I had to get it. So this is my find of the day. And I'm kind of interested to see it next to my other crested Aeonium. This is not crested, but it's it's growing. Just structurally in interesting really way. interesting. Really, really interesting yeah. how it's growing. Yeah. So this is my find of the it's day. It's like aloe hybrid. Very um, cool. But it was very inexpensive and it we didn't so even count the many babies. babies. We didn't count the babies. Um so I could either leave it like this, which is pretty wonderful, or I could dig in there and see if I want to separate some of that stuff or not. But it's huge. Very cool. It was in a tiny pot and it's got a whole lot of babies. It's just really fun. Yeah, that's my that's my yeah. favorite, I yeah. think, in, in your haul. I love What's all your... of the ones in your haul. Probably the Aeonium just because of the shape so of it. Interesting. But I've never seen watch chain, chain that's that, that substantial yeah. either. Um there was there was another one there. I really wanted it, but I was budgeting. budgeting. But you got you got smaller yeah, babies and you got yeah, more. Yeah, yeah, I got a you good got, deal for got, the small babies. You got yeah. three you have five different plants. I yeah. think you did great. Successful trip. You got five really cool plant babies. I'm really, really looking forward to seeing them styled in your home. So stay tuned. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Subscribe for daily uploads at 5 a.m. and we will be back with Catherine in a week and I'm looking forward to seeing your plants because we didn't get to do a summer plant tour. So I'm looking forward to seeing what happened between spring and our California fall because Catherine's wearing shorts. Don't let this <laughs> deceive you. She's wearing shorts. It's, it's still in the mid 70s here in Southern California, but I hope you guys enjoyed seeing Catherine for another come with me for yesterday's video as well as today's California Collective Plant Hall from Ventura, California. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing what's going on in our space. So stay tuned and give this video a big thumbs up. Um, let us know down below what was your favorite plant in today's haul between Catherine and I. And if you have any of the plants and how are you styling them. And we'll see you guys soon. Find more on my blog at elegjulianthablogspot.com. Until next time, aloha from Santa Monica, California. Bye. Bye.